Black holes were predicted by Einstein's equations, but physicists questioned whether they could really exist. A black hole is a strange beast. If this were a black hole, then instead of a rubber surface, it would have a surface that is made of absolutely nothing except warped space and time. It's a place where gravity is so strong that if anything falls into the black hole, it can never get back out. If you fall in, you can't send signals back out. Light can't get out from the interior. So you might ask, how would that ever happen? In outer space, you can get so much mass together, like in a supermassive star, that the gravity just becomes stronger and stronger and stronger, and eventually the pressure that matter exerts on itself can't keep up and everything collapses, there's a big explosion. Some of the stuff is blown away, but the rest of it collapses into a black hole. A black hole that spins on its axis drags the very space around it into a whirling motion that pulls stars and planets into orbit. Closer in, gravity increases like a riptide. At a boundary called the event horizon, gravity becomes so extreme that nothing can escape being pulled into the heart of the beast and lost forever. UCLA astronomer Andrea Ghez Looks like this is Sagi Star. is an expert on black hole detection. See this one? I think it's one of that one there. She played a key role investigating what had long been a scientific hunch, that a huge black hole lives at the center of the Milky Way. Andrea wanted to see if the stars were orbiting a single source of gravity. By 2000, we finally started to see uh, the stars curve. In other words, the gravitational influence of the black hole um, had made those stars go from straight lines to starting to bend. Measurements were precise enough to see that curvature. This animation represents uh, 20 years of work, and it tells you that there is a black hole and exactly how massive it is. Andrea's painstaking project revealed a monster with more than four million times the mass of our sun at the center of our Milky Way. In Interstellar, crew members have a precariously close encounter with the black hole. Oh, we are not prepared for this. What would the beast look like to them? One of the things that Kip was very insistent on is that the black hole, it's spherical, but it's absolutely black. It has no surface detail. It doesn't give shadows or highlights or anything. A black hole's accretion disk is made up of gas and dust and magnetic fields that spin at high speeds, radiating heat and light. The black hole's gravity would actually bend that light like a camera lens in ways that Kip would calculate. I worked out the equations for tracing light rays traveling around the black hole to see what the disk would look like if you were in a spacecraft looking at it up close. We were really able to use a very, very accurate representation of, of the gravitational lensing, the effects of gravity and light around the black hole. You see the disk in front, and then when it goes around, you see the disk wrap up around the top of the black hole and wrap around the bottom of the black hole. I had guessed it would look more or less like this, but knowing it intellectually is completely different than feeling it, than absorbing it, than seeing it. It just blew me away. 